Hey guys, Steven here with another video to help you become a confident automation professional. In this video, I'm going to answer the question of how do you change the size of your display in Factory Talk View Machine Edition. So if you've got some screens set up and you, you're working with an existing project or you created a new project and you're wondering, how do I change the size of this? You can see there's these black, this black dotted line here that defines the border and size of your screen. And if you go to display settings, um, you know, you can see the size is fixed here. So you, you can't change it. So the way you change it is you go into under system, you go to project settings. And this is where you set the size of the display. Now, there's a bunch of different options here. You can see a lot of these have PV plus, PV plus seven, standard performance, et cetera. So that's stands for panel view plus and those are you know hmi display units from alan bradley that you can buy that are pre-configured for a certain size obviously they've got a certain size touch screen that you can use so if you're using one of those you need to choose the size that corresponds with that that model number okay if you're running this on a desktop computer or you're just running it for testing purposes um, on your computer, then you can make it whatever size you want. So right now it's set at 800 by 600. Let's, um, let's say 1280 by 800. So you could, you could choose that one or you can choose a custom size here and set it that way or 1280 by 800 here. They, they should all be the same. So let's click that. Now you can see it changed it here. Click OK. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to scale um, the graphics. So that's the default, is that it's um, everything's checked here to scale the font sizes, scale the border sizes, scale images, scale offsets, etc. Um, so it's going to try to make it scale to the bigger size. I would say proceed with caution with this. Um, if you're just testing things out and learning and playing with things, go for it and see how it works. But if you are working with an actual HMI project that you want to scale, I would not, uh, I would not recommend it. You can, you should always create a backup and a copy before you do this anyway. Um, so you can always try it and see if it works. Um, but generally the scaling is not going to be perfect. So like I said, if you're going to do this, be sure to back up um, your project, which we could cover in another video, but back it up so that you have a copy and that you're not overwriting that existing project and ruining what you had. Because once you do this, you can't undo it. Okay, so I am going to um, I'll keep scaled all graphics on and let's see if this works. Click OK. Okay, so it's gonna change from four to three ratio to eight to five. Some objects and images may be stretched or distorted. So that's the problem, especially if you're going from one ratio to another. If you're going from one ratio to another, or to the same ratio, just a different size, that's going to be a better scaling than changing ratios. But we'll just click yes to see how it works. And this might take a minute. So we got a lot of displays in this project. Okay, so now it's done. So let's open it up and see what it looks like here. I'm going to close this. Okay, so you can see it's not very pretty. Um, we got some things crowding to other things. Some of these objects look all pixelated, etc. But it did scale it out. Okay, so it, it can be done. Um, generally, it's just going to serve you better if you scale it, uh, if you change the the size of your display without scaling the graphics and then you can manually scale the graphics if you want or just add more to your display or spread things out. 
Um, so hope that helps. This is how to change the size of your display and your screens in Factory Talk View. We'll see you next time. If you have questions about how to program and design Factory Talk View applications and connect them to PLCs, and you really are just interested in becoming a PLC Automation Pro, check out myplctraining.com and see how we can help. Thanks.